What is going on guys? Victor here and I am in the beautiful, beautiful Florida Keys with Brooke's family. Brooke is right here next to me and let me introduce you guys to everyone because you're going to be seeing all these people in the next upcoming videos. We got Brooke's older brother, Jed. You guys have seen him in the Catching Cooks. Brooke's dad, the one. Brooke's dad and mom who made this trip happen. And then we got Gabby, which is Fisher's girlfriend, oh. which is Brooke's younger brother. Let's see if we can put some dinner in the boat. I think that's the yellow tail. And um, they just need to get bigger. I just like to know that what we're doing is working, you know? If we got a one yellow tail on the slick, that means there's about a 500 more. They're way back there. Be bigger. Oh, we're in them, we're in them. Right species again. Just need to get a little bit bigger. So what we're doing is we're finally in the yellow tails. I'm putting a second block in, keep these guys around, get them closer to the boat, get everyone in on the action. Because the more chum put out, the more comfortable they get and the closer they come to the boat. I have 20 pound braid and 20 pound mono, if that's what you mean. Yeah, but are, would they be the same as Woo! That's a Bonita. Oh, a missile? That's a Bonita. I'm gonna reel on my stuff. fresh bait. It's a little bullet. Here we go. Yeah. Look like you were on. You're on. You're on. Get him, Brian. That's the right one. Oh, that's the right one. That's a mutton. Feels like it. Mm-hmm. That's a good mutton. Getting close. Yep, whole ballyhoo. Here, uh, come over to this side. Can you hold this, Fisher? I mean, that's a nice one. You won't lose them. Oh, it's a grouper. It's a grouper. That might be a keeper black grouper, Brian. Heck yes. He's good. He should be good. That should be a keeper nice black grouper. One, good job. There's your fish. Nice black grouper. Let's measure them. Put them on the measure. Gotta be 24 inches. Hey, fish. He's legal. 24 to the... Oh, oh you're in the money! 27. 27 inches. We're eating grouper. That's what we came here for. Right there. Get yeah, get him! Oh, no. Uh-oh. Wait, what's uh-oh? It looks like he's rocked. No, I got him up. I told you. Oh. You got afraid? Come on now. Oh, come on. What it feel like? Oh, the right one. Oh, he was already in the rocks. Look at that. Huh? He was already in the rocks. Huck just pulled. Come on now. Oh. About. That was a big one. Feel this. Feeling. Feel this. Try to pull the drag out of here. No, mine's nailed too. No, try to pull the drag out of this one. <laughs> Did he pull drag? Yeah, the whole time. The whole time. Yep. What does that mean? <laughs> There's big black grouper down there. That wasn't a. That was a yeah, but forty what went pounder. Wrong with your tackle. Just broke. Yeah. Brian got him on. There like it's a black. black. No, it's a red. It's a keeper red. Keeper red grouper. Yes. Go, Vicky, go. What you got, Vic? Oh my god. Fisher, that's you. You're tangled. You're tangled. Get on closer. Get him a little closer. A little closer. Go, Brooke. Oh! It was oh worth it! It was worth it, man! There's your boy! Nice. That's the one that's been breaking us off all day. All These things throw nice. down. Beautiful Eight fish. Down. And guess what? It's grouper season. We don't have to let this one go. We've let quite a few grouper go in our day, but this one is going in the box. Third one in the box today. We found an epic rock. 
third grouper of the day. Cool. All right, guys, so we got this beautiful, beautiful Florida Keys grouper right here. One of the uh, many grouper that we caught today and then we were fortunate enough to catch today and I am beyond ecstatic because number one, I love catching fish and I like catching fish that I don't catch that often. But number two, I like filleting fish that I don't fillet that often. Number one being this black grouper. Um, grouper season just opened. It opened May 1st. So let's get to cutting this guy up. Grab him by the peck fin right here. And I know that grouper and snapper, their head meat goes all the way up here. So what I'll do is I'll start by his rib cage right here and I'll go all the way down. Oh, you hear that deflate? That was his yeah. air bladder. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but I'll go all the way down here, all the way into this nice head meat. And then I'll take my knife and I do that little incision first into the backbone, just gliding along it. So I just did that first initial cut right there, separating the meat from the backbone. Taking my time and just ever so slightly rubbing that knife along the bone. And he's giving me a tough time. He's sliding all over the place. This guy's slimy. There we go. Nothing, he's just full of guts. Sliding over those rib cages. Brooke made a good point because I'm getting a little frustrated out here. The no seams are bad in the keys. And um, this is a really tall flay table. And when you have the leverage to really push down, your flaying is just is so much easier. But I want to show you guys, look at that. So I didn't miss any meat here. You see how that is perfectly in flush with the bones? There's no meat missing there. You got a big, broad rib cage. These things are just, grouper's a 10 second fight. You, they fight for the first 10 seconds to try to get into their rock. You gotta get them up before they wanna get down there. And that's the thing with these guys. They're just really big, broad, powerful fish. They wanna hug the bottom. Big, beautiful, beautiful grouper filet. It's gonna make many meals for this awesome vacation. I want you guys to know that I do read those comments and I do see that a lot of people call us out for never taking the cheek meat out of the fish. This is a nice big fish and fish like a grouper. If you ever see them or hear them underwater, they make this, they make a really loud drumming noise. They got really powerful mouths. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this cheek meat out. You can feel it's kind of hard around his gill plate right here. And you just feel where it gets soft. And that's where I'm gonna start to cut. probably an easier way to do this so if you guys have it you know I don't know if you guys use just a spoon or something but um, I'm just using this knife right here and just trying to work that outline and trying to get all this meat out of his cheek and you'll see you got a nice <laughs> it's like a little grouper chicken nugget that's what you got right there. I think it looks more like a grouper filet mignon. You know, we, we tend to forget to take that part out, but it's one of those pieces, and a lot of people say it's the best part of the fish. You guys know what time it is. Hope you enjoyed the fishing portion of that video. I got plenty more to come of grouper, snapper, just an overall good time in the Keys with Brooke's family. Thank you guys for watching. But now it is time to cook. So the first thing I'm doing is making a cold cucumber salad. This is uh, my grandma's recipe. It's a very popular thing to do in Slovakia. Uh, you do a, a raw uh, onion and cucumber salad. And the trick to this is get as thin slice of onions and cucumber as possible. Sometimes we even um, put it through a grate, you know, get it really, really fine. So I try to get my onions into thin of pieces as possible because you are gonna be eating this raw with a spoon or a fork, you know, and you don't wanna eat a giant chunk of onion. Now, the base of this salad is going to be vinegar um, and water. So I'm pretty sure it was three liters of water to two tablespoons of vinegar, that kind of ratio, and about a tablespoon of sugar. You mix it all up, you know, if something doesn't taste right, add more or less vinegar or sugar. Now we are also gonna be making a tartar sauce. This is also another family recipe. I love bringing my family recipes and sharing them with you guys. And um, for my tartar sauce, uh, we do onion as well as pickle, some dill pickles, not the sweet kind, and we chop up and dice our pickle and onion into small 
of pieces as possible. Uh, you know, with the tartar sauce, I don't like just big old chunks. You want, you know, nice little chunks of veggies in there. And what you do is you do half mayonnaise to half sour cream. You could substitute the um, sour cream or mayonnaise for Greek yogurt, you know, if you're calorie conscious, but the full fat mayonnaise, you can't go wrong. It adds a lot of flavor and tartar sauce. You, you gotta put mayonnaise in there. So we're gonna be making grouper fingers and what better uh, sauce, dip in sauce than tartar sauce to go with it. So here we go. Add in our pickles and onions into our sour cream and mayonnaise mixture. And you guys see, I'm not, you know, I was very liberal, liberal with the amount of onions and uh, pickle. You wanna put a lot in there, you know, you get a mouthful of flavor. Uh, as well as a lot of black pepper. I like to do a lot of black pepper in this dish as well. And we go ahead and give it a nice little mix. And as I'm sp speaking, you know, uh, that cold cucumber salad, it's definitely best to make at the beginning of your dinner. Let it chill, get all those flavors developed. It kind of softens up the cucumbers and onions. And here is the star of the show. The star of the show, we got those grouper fingers. And, um, you know, one thing I really like about different fish and something like grouper is how firm it is. You know, you guys always hear me talk about the texture of fish. Well, grouper has a good, firm texture. So it's easy to work with, very good for fry frying because it does not fall apart and you can make it into shapes like this where something like yellowtail snapper would fall apart very easily. Uh, you know, we're doing basic grouper fingers just fried in some progresso Italian breadcrumbs. Cannot go wrong with that. Dip it into your egg wash first. No flour needed actually, no salt needed. Those Italian breadcrumbs are seasoned perfectly well. Okay, and for our starch, our carb of choice for this dish, I'm gonna go ahead and make some homemade cilantro lime rice. I've never made it before. And I put some olive oil in a pan and actually toasted the rice up first. I did two cups, I was feeding like seven or six people, I don't remember. And then we add the water in there, you know, let it simmer, cover it and I go ahead and put a whole stick of butter in here, but you know it is for a lot of people, so it really does not matter. Uh, one stick of butter in our rice mixture. Also put some salt in there, you know, just to make sure that our rice is salty enough. And we're gonna add some freshly cut cilantro at the very end, right before you're going to serve. You know, you want that, you want that cilantro to be in its peak state. You don't want it to be cooked at all. Um, so that goes in there, give it a nice stir, leave it on the pot until all your fish is done frying. And that is exactly what we're about to do next. Our grouper fingers are going in the oil. And you know, honestly, just doing these voiceovers makes me realize how lucky I am to live in the state that we live in. And you know, a lot of people take for granted, but we do get to enjoy as Floridians some of the best seafood that people come down here and spend, you know, all their money on on vacations to get grouper fingers in restaurants. So we are garnishing up our plate. We got the grouper fingers right there. We got a nice side of cilantro lime rice with a lemon garnish. And we're gonna add some of our homemade tartar sauce as well as our cucumber salad. You guys see right there, we got those thinly sliced cucumbers as well as onions. You know, cut through some of that fatty tartar sauce and fried fish. And voila, there you go. From my kitchen to yours, thank you guys for watching. Now let's hear what everyone has to say about the food. This is the life. I mean, getting to catch and eat fish every day in paradise, there's, it doesn't get any better than this. Fantastic. It was amazing. There's nothing more I could say. Everyone's gonna finish all the fish up, even though we had a whole bunch. It was a, it was a good meal. It was really good. I loved it. <laughs> it was great. Like Fisher said, people who didn't like fish would have enjoyed this fish. It was awesome. Well, we're gonna be in the Keys for a total of 10 days. Uh, we've already had two delicious fish dinners because Victor's an awesome chef when it comes to cooking fish. I've never had a, a meal of his that I didn't enjoy. Well, another great day in the Keys, another great dinner. I mean, who doesn't love fried fish? And of course, Victor has to step it up a notch with homemade tartar sauce, which was great, and that cilantro <laughs> lime um, <laughs> rice like Chipotle has, if you guys like to know Chipotle, but everything was great. It was really good. And so thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next video.